guys welcome back to my channel this is anastasia welcome everybody how are you guys doing standing next to my green wall backdrop that i set up for my previous video it's still here it's still in my living room and i decided to use it again and get the most out of this backdrop while it's still set up so i don't have to set it up again right so i want to go a different route from my previous video because previous video was uh, more like of a jungle like printed balloons so like animal printed balloons this time i want to go into a summer route and make something fruity and fun if you go to my previous video and check all of the comments below that video you can find great tips and ideas where you can purchase this wall those green squares from for cheaper so go ahead and check it out thank you to all who commented and gave great tips and ideas. Thank you. All of the balloons that I got for today's video, I got from Lauderdale Paper and Balloon Company. No surprise here. I love to work with them. They have a huge selection of supplies, types of balloon sizes, balloons from different companies. They have it all. They are still open for pickup or they do ship orders so go check their website out if you're a new customer you can always use my code anastasia10 for 10 percent off at checkout this is an affiliate code it's totally up to you if you want to use it or not and this code is valid for your first purchase only everything will be linked and listed in the description under the video and without any further ado let's go here is what i'm planning to use in today's setup i have different sizes clear balloons over here 5 36 11 and 16 inches then i have this bag of yellow balloons five inch and different foil balloons like lemon orange and watermelon on top of all this i am going back to my fishing line i will be using probably my low temperature glue gun electric balloon pump and i might use my balloon time tool if anything else i would use on top of everything that i just told you i'll let you know let's blow our balloons i am planning to mix in sizes and use a newest technique that i've been using lately but using a fishing line so that's gonna be fun so i'm taking two different sizes of balloons as you're done blowing your balloons, press them against the floor to give your balloons a more rounded shape and then tie them together in a knot and you will make pairs like these. Also, I will be blowing my 11 inch into different sizes as well. So let's try this together. These balloons are 11 inch and as you can see, I blew this one to 11 inch and this one's probably like two nine inch and again pressing them against the floor to give them rounder shape and tie them together to make a pair just keep playing with sizing and pairing your balloons so let's go chance that this plastic insert can be melted by that warm air so it's better and safer to use a hand pump so let's go by the way it's going to take a little bit longer but you'll be sure that your balloons won't be ruined to pair our balloons so what i'm doing is i am taking different sizes pairs and I am interwinding them together and creating clusters like these. Keep on playing with sizing colors and let's go. Construct 
Power Balloon Garland, I am taking my fishing line. I am using this apron from Laura Del Paper and Balloon Company. It is very handy. I just put my fishing line in one of the pockets and it's not tingling on other balloons. So tie your fishing line to your first pair. Taking our second cluster and putting right on top of our first one. We've got the perfect spot right here should be good. Taking our fishing line and wrapping around to newly placed balloons. garland cut a long piece of fishing line hold it with one hand with your other take the tail and wrap around one of the balloons so now you created this loop over here take that tail and feed that tail through the loop pull on your tail that way you're creating knots do or repeat this a couple or a few times to make sure your garland is completely secured garlands on my backdrop I literally just tied these two pieces straight to my greenery wall with fishing line very simple but I will link a video of commonly asked questions about balloon garlands in that video I do show an up close on how I hang all of my garlands using backdrop and fabric and how I hang all of my garlands using command hooks. So, and I do also answer a lot of questions about balloon garlands in that video. Go ahead and check it out. Now, I will be taking my rubber bands, rest of my balloon clusters, and I will be going and filling in spaces with my foil balloons. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. I feel like I want to use lots and lots of glue dots to attach these. So we'll figure something out, let's go.
have for you guys today. This is my take on this setup. A very summery, very bright, very fun looking. I am not too happy about these foiled balloons. Lemon and orange balloons, they had holes. I had to replace some of them with new ones. This is not the amount of fruit balloons that I plan to use, less. And these watermelon balloons, they are good quality. I didn't have problems with them. As you can see, this one up top over there, it's deflating. I don't know, I don't know. The rest of the balloons, I like the quality. Thank you, Laura Del Paper and Balloon Company for sending me these awesome, great quality balloons. I also constructed this whole thing with my fishing line and rubber bands. Rubber bands, it's not the best way to construct clear balloon garlands because you can definitely see them. Like, for example, like over here, you can definitely see rubber bands. It's better if you glue them down with your low temperature glue gun or just use glue dots. It will be so much better. Other than that, you guys, I am happy with what I see here. I will link a video where I construct this green wall so you can see how I did that. And yeah, you guys, everything will be linked and listed in the description under the video. And I will share some pictures at the end of this video as well. This is it, you guys. This is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful and inspiring. If it was, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will try to be there and help you out to the best of my abilities. Also, share with family and friends, that's always helpful. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for more videos and great ideas. And I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I will see you back very soon. Bye.